chapter 14. The Lord said to Moses, These are the regulations for the diseased person at the time of his ceremonial cleansing when he is brought to the priest. The priest is to go outside the camp and examine him. If the person has been healed of his infectious skin disease, the priest shall order that two live clean birds and some cedar wood, scarlet yarn and hyssop, be brought for the one to be cleansed. Then the priest shall order that one of the birds be killed over fresh water in a clay pot. He is then to take the live bird and dip it, together with the cedar wood, the scarlet yarn, and the hyssop, into the blood of the bird that was killed over the fresh water. Seven times he shall sprinkle the one to be cleansed of the infectious disease and pronounce him clean. Then he is to release the live bird in the open fields. The person to be cleansed must wash his clothes, shave off all his hair, and bathe with water. Then he will be ceremonially clean. After this, he may come into the camp, but he must stay outside his tent for seven days. On the seventh day, he must shave off all his hair. He must shave his head, his beard, his eyebrows, and the rest of his hair. He must wash his clothes and bathe himself with water, and he will be clean. On the eighth day, he must bring two male lambs and one ewe lamb, a year old, each without defect, along with three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering and one log of oil. The priest who pronounces him clean shall present both the one to be cleansed and his offerings before the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then the priest is to take one of the male lambs and offer it as a guilt offering, along with the log of oil. He shall wave them before the Lord as a wave offering. He is to slaughter the lamb in the holy place where the sin offering and the burnt offering are slaughtered. Like the sin offering, the guilt offering belongs to the priest. It is most holy. The priest is to take some of the blood of the guilt offering and put it on the lobe of the right ear of the one to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot. The priest shall then take some of the log of oil pour it in the palm of his own left hand, dip his right forefinger into the oil in his palm, and with his finger sprinkle some of it before the Lord seven times. The priest is to put some of the oil remaining in his palm on the lobe of the right ear of the one to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot, on top of the blood of the guilt offering. The rest of the oil in his palm the priest shall put on the head of the one to be cleansed, and make atonement for him before the Lord. Then the priest is to sacrifice the sin offering and make atonement for the one to be cleansed from his uncleanness. After that, the priest shall slaughter the burnt offering and offer it on the altar together with the grain offering and make atonement for him, and he will be clean. If, however, he is poor and cannot afford these, he must take one male lamb as a guilt offering to be waived to make atonement for him together with a tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, a log of oil, and two doves or two young pigeons, which he can afford, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. On the eighth day, he must bring them for his cleansing to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. The priest is to take the lamb for the guilt offering, together with the log of oil, and wave them before the Lord as a wave offering, he shall slaughter the lamb for the guilt offering and take some of its blood and put it on the lobe of the right ear of the one to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot. The priest is to pour some of the oil into the palm of his own left hand and with his right forefinger sprinkle some of the oil from his palm seven times before the Lord. Some of the oil in his palm he is to put on the same places he put the blood of the guilt offering on the lobe of the right ear of the one to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot. The rest of the oil in his palm the priest shall put on the head of the one to be cleansed, to make atonement for him before the Lord. Then he shall sacrifice the doves or the young pigeons, which the person can afford, one as a sin offering, and the other as a burnt offering, together with the grain offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement before the Lord on behalf of the one to be cleansed. These are the regulations for anyone who has an infectious skin disease and who cannot afford the regular offerings for his cleansing. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, 
when you enter the land of Canaan, which I am giving you as your possession, and I put a spreading mildew in a house in that land, the owner of the house must go and tell the priest, I have seen something that looks like mildew in my house. The priest is to order the house to be emptied before he goes in to examine the mildew, so that nothing in the house will be pronounced unclean. After this, the priest is to go in and inspect the house. He is to examine the mildew on the walls, and if it has greenish or reddish depressions that appear to be deeper than the surface of the wall, the priest shall go out the doorway of the house and close it up for seven days. On the seventh day, the priest shall return to inspect the house. If the mildew has spread on the walls, he is to order that the contaminated stones be torn out and thrown into an unclean place outside the town. He must have all the inside walls of the house scraped, and the material that is scraped off dumped into an unclean place outside the town. Then they are to take other stones to replace these, and take new clay and plaster the house. If the mildew reappears in the house after the stones have been torn out, and the house scraped and plastered, the priest is to go and examine it, and if the mildew has spread in the house, it is a destructive mildew. The house is unclean. It must be torn down, its stones, timbers, and all the plaster, and taken out of the town to an unclean place. Anyone who goes into the house while it is closed up will be unclean till evening. Anyone who sleeps or eats in the house must wash his clothes. But if the priest comes to examine it, and the mildew has not spread after the house has been plastered, he shall pronounce the house clean, because the mildew is gone. To purify the house, he is to take two birds and some cedar wood, scarlet yarn and hyssop. He shall kill one of the birds over fresh water in a clay pot. Then he is to take the cedar wood, the hyssop, the scarlet yarn and the live bird, dip them into the blood of the dead bird and the fresh water, and sprinkle the house seven times. He shall purify the house with the bird's blood, the fresh water, the live bird, the cedar wood, the hyssop and the scarlet yarn. Then he is to release the live bird in the open fields outside the town. In this way, he will make atonement for the house, and it will be clean. These are the regulations for any infectious skin disease, for an itch, for mildew in clothing, or in a house, and for a swelling, a rash, or a bright spot, to determine when something is clean or unclean. These are the regulations for infectious skin diseases and mildew.